be happy if you live longer. I'll pass, thanks. I have no desire to prolong things. That's... sour. <sighs> All right. You know who to call if you ever change your mind. Do you see these quads I got? They're huge and mechanical. Nothing gonna upgrade up from that. Oh, we get happy music. Does this mean we are finally in control of the character? I think we are. I should go rejoin the others. Of course you should, Ziggy. We are in control of Ziggy. Hooray. Let's take a look at him. Here we can look at his ethers. I doubt he has anything. He somehow forgot them all on the, the Elsa ride down to second Milshire. Remember that that's really all that's happened between the first game and the second game for these characters, right? Even though we had the flashback earlier, all that's happened for our main party is that they were on board the Elsa and they landed on second Milsha. In that time, they have forgot, forgotten everything. I do have quite a bit of class points and skill points. Once again, I am told that's a carryover from the first game, but I have also seen people say that's not the case. So I, I honestly don't know. I've, I've tried my best to look into it and I can't tell the difference. So I'm going to assume that it's not a carryover, but it very, might, very well could be. Uh, he's got combos, that's all he does. Uh, they're all physical short strike with fire on them. He casts down, and then he'll slash you when you're on the ground instead of striking you. Outside of that, that is it. We don't have anybody with us, so we can't do uh, double attacks in terms of his stats. Uh, he's, of course, still high on strength, pretty low on ether attack comparatively. He is a physical guy. We also have swimsuit here. This is the first chance to really go over why it said swimsuit, not a swimsuit, or swimsuits for Ziggy and Cosmos. Swimsuit is a skill, and it's something that you equip. It gives you an agility plus one, and it increases your skill points earned in a battle by 10%, but you get 10 to 15 additional percent damage done to you. That doesn't mean that you do 10 to 15 percent more damage. That means more is done to you because you're not wearing armor because you're in a swimsuit. So it works very similarly to equipment, but it's not technically equipment. It is a skill. We're, of course, going to equip that pretty much all the damn time. Unless I'm having trouble with a boss, I, I want that on all the time. It'll help me out in the long run. That's the way that I see it. Now, I don't think there is too much to do here. We can talk to people, of course. There are rumors that the satellite falling out of Milchen Orbit was caused by a terrorist. The stock market is going crazy. No, not the economy. Uh, there was a safe point over there. I probably actually already want to use it. Oh no, I forgot to get a ticket for the next flight home. What am I going to do? Fly yourself. We need teleporters in this game. That's definitely what we need. How you doing? This is the first time I've come to see Second Milsha on vacation. It's such a large city. The air is fresh and it's so nice and warm here. Good to hear. Will you listen to my problem? Apparently I could say no, but I will. I'm a traveling flower salesman and I have a lot of leftover seeds. I'm wondering what to do with them. Will you listen? No, okay, no. Screw you. What am I going to do? <laughs> but yeah, it, there's there's no downside of saying no that first time. But for now, we are going to drop a save. It has actually been quite a long time for me since I started. So let's drop a save. Okay, all ready to go. What we can do, and I'll try to go over this briefly. I'll just kind of skim these. If I look at the, it's these monitors, isn't it? I swear, it is these monitors, yes. Uh, view the special content. I can view the content here, and uh, they will give me some info on Xenosog Episode 1. Chapter, would you, once again, I'm gonna try to skim this. Kind of a brief overview of Episode 1, but once again, if you don't know the plot, I would highly recommend you go back and watch Xenosog Episode 1, if not from me, from somebody, because you will get lost.
So that's what happened in the first game. Once again, I would recommend that you actually watch the first game because even that explanation was pretty lackluster, if you ask me. Uh, then we have the martial arts magazines. What? Always tar- oh, this is just like a fighting tutorial. No, we're good. We learned it all because Chaos actually told us what to do. How you doing up here? Let's see, where was it? I'm pretty sure it was the second booth from the right that lets you access some s interesting information. So apparently everybody has access to this information. Go find your own! What are you, voting in there? Shouldn't be too bad. Dude, I recognize you! Captain Matthews of the Elsa is always in net. That's why I'm here to help. How about it? Do you have any items or accessories you want to sell? Uh, no, not really. Which would you like to sell? If I said yes, though, what, what are my choices? Uh, just the things that I got. And here you can see... Captain Matthews has a shit ton of debt. He's got... How many zeros is that? That is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven zeros. He's got ten million gold in debt. I'm not even gonna make a dent in that today. Captain Matthews' debt hell still continues. You're damn right it does. I will eventually get that back down to zero, but that's gonna take me some time. I don't think anybody. Yeah, screw it. Nobody here has anything interesting to say. I've already wasted enough time here on this one screen going over the previous plot. So let's head to the south, which is where we need to go. And hopefully, we can find out what it is that we actually need to do. Because they're not really giving us good information as of now. Just let's go find Yuli Mizrahi. Could you scoot over so I could sit down somewhere? You guys got damn nice cars. What did mommy say, Ziggy? Looks like a Batmobile. All right. She seemed very busy. Oh, I knew it. She's one of the contact subcommittee's head members. I'm sure it's a demanding role. Plus, she doesn't like you. Yeah, I guess you're right. I guess I've got to do my best to help her out. Oh, well, you've changed. Chaos, you too. Chaos, if you can move at all, that would that would be helpful so that I don't feel like I'm sitting next to a corpse on the way over. Yeah, that is a sweet car. I assume that's some kind of limo in the future. Ah! What the? An ambush? This is not good. We've got the mechs after us. Is that Junior? Who are they? Pellegrino. No, no, it's not him. It's too gentle for him. There's two of them. Ooh, what was that? But we have to protect you. Don't go between my legs. That's just awkward. Of course, Momo knows how to drive. Why wouldn't she know how to drive better than everybody else? She's programmed for it. Why couldn't Chaos have done it? That's why Momo gets to drive. Right there. Alright! We made it! You guys should just stop in the tunnel. Or they could go through the window. Junior. Fire 
extinguisher? Yes! Fire extinguishers. Is there anything they can't do? They saved our lives yet again. They're right behind us. Okay, we'll head for point two zero eight nine, the roof of Second Moshe's defense system number six. Good thinking. That way the citizens won't get caught in the middle. Let's go. And for the first time, I'm in control of our main party, more or less. And I have the opportunity to set my party. And honestly, I don't think I like the party the way that it's set up right now. So let's get rid of uh, Momo and we'll bring Ziggy in. Because I think that will be a lot better right now. Let's take a look at everybody else, though. We do have Junior, who is definitely more of an all-around character. He has very high dexterity, which is very good down the line. Doesn't have any equipped skills, of course. I don't have anything on anybody. His ether attack is pretty good, but not spectacular. You know, he doesn't have anything. Nothing whatsoever. Ziggy has the swimsuit on, which is always good. We saw him before. Chaos! Uh, ether attack is really his big thing. His strength is pretty low. He's more of an all-around character. If I had one, uh, it would be him. But really, his stats are considerably low in this game, I would say. We're definitely going to need to work on him some more. Momo is your pure mage. No strength, no vitality, quite a bit of evade, a lot of dexterity, ether attack, and ether defense. She's also the fastest person that I have right now. Chaos is actually pretty slow. Ziggy's actually pretty slow as well. Luckily, I don't need to work on tech points to increase those stats in any way. I wouldn't do it anyway. But uh, with all this shown, I want to go over skills so I'm well not go over I already went over skills I'm going to assign skills to all these people I haven't really decided how I'm going to do that just yet but most likely what I'm going to do is just give everybody skills at the bottom and work them all the way up as if well as if I, I was doing them trying to get all the skills for everybody because that's really what I'm going to be doing at the end is everybody's going to have every skill so I'm just going to put it level A, well level 1, class A, then class B, then class C, and all the way up. Even though that is not the smartest way to go through this game, that is how I will be doing it unless I get caught anywhere with a boss fight that I can't do. So let me assign the skills. Okay, that is done. Let's briefly go over what I just did. I assigned everybody pretty much the same skills which are A through C and then I unlocked Z but for at least Junior he doesn't have enough skill points in order to do anything there so everything up to there has been learned I will equip those as necessary memory though I said this was important you recall enemy zones once learned that's not entirely accurate what you remember is how to break an enemy and what zones you need to hit for that. That's very useful, especially since there are so many enemies in this game, and I don't want to try to remember all of them as I go along. It'll just appear in the bottom right. It'll tell me how to break the enemy. I have this equipped on everybody, but I really only need it on one person. It's a very nice thing to have down the line. No, wrong one. On Ziggy, it's the same thing. Everything in class C, nothing else. Unlock D, but nothing there just yet. Chaos is a little bit better because, of course, we did get more skill points for him in the prologue. He does have dexterity and evade plus two that nobody else has. Now, Momo actually has a little bit less than everybody else. Uh, she has 10 points too few to get that ether defense plus two, which is starting to make me think that possibly the 
skill points are brought forward from the Xenosaga Episode 1 clear data, but once again, I'm not finding any information on that, so it's really hard for me to be able to tell that. So, uh, let's go ahead and equip these skills, which is once again on status. So equip skills, we're going to put uh, strength, uh, vitality, and defense for Junior. Uh, we're going to keep swimsuit, so we're just going to go for the defensive stuff on Ziggy. And then for Chaos, we're going to go for uh, Ether Attack. Now, you know, let's remove... Oh, hold on. We'll go for Strength some more, because Strength is really what I'm going to be doing most of the time. And it's pretty basic for Momo. Uh, Ether Skills, Mastered Skills, those I don't need to bother equipping. Everybody's going to have more or less the same ones anyway. So let's go ahead and move forward. We're finally ready to do that. Luckily there is a save point here. I shouldn't need to use it, but should I take a couple steps forward? We get... Is this a boss battle? I don't think it's considered a boss battle. I've got no time for wusses like you. In 078 Grizzly, this is not the boss battle. There is one coming up though. 